Would you rather marry a guy who is rich, buys you a ton of fancy shit like Birkins, brings you on dope trips, but cheats on you? <laughs> or marry a broke dude who can't buy you shit? How important is money to you in a relationship? <laughs> It's it's important. It's not that big of a deal. So you'll be what Do you think Shall money will, will help you find the love of your life? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Money>. <laughs> You think I can make the you? love of my life. Would you rather marry a guy who is rich, buys you a ton of fancy shit like Birkins, brings you on dope trips, but cheats on you? <laughs> or marry a broke dude who can't buy you shit and he doesn't cheat? Okay, so the, the second one does not cheat. No, he don't cheat. He, he, bro loves, he, broke his he loves you like literally he sends you flowers on the most random days with little teddy bears that are holding like a tiny balloon. I'm gonna say the first guy. Here's why, and here's why, here's why. My mom, she's been married a few times, right? And those relationships didn't last for various reasons. One of the biggest ones being that she was the breadwinner. Mm. That it's like a very hard dynamic. Yeah, it is. So first of all, I want to hear your opinion on which one you would rather and why you picked that one, right? And also, where you're messaging from. Leave your comment below. Here is my opinion on it. I would rather pick the first one over the second one, and here's the reason why I would pick the first one. Because for one, like she was saying, that her mother was the breadwinner in the relationship, and they never worked out because, one, she resented those men that she was with. I'm not sure if that's the reason, but definitely because she had to pay all the bills, she ended the relationships, right? And that would be the same case for me. I'm sorry, your love could be cute and all, but if every single time you call me, I have like bills piling up to the wazoo, and here you are telling me, oh, I sent you teddy bears, oh, I sent you flowers, did you get them? Sir, send me a check. Send me a check because I cannot pay my bills with your flowers. And on top of that, you could be, you know, cooking us noodles with candlelight dinner, which is the noodles, right? And then at the end of it, we're going to have sex. I will not get excited for you because I don't care how much you love me. If you're not able to help me in my time of need, I don't know. I'm old school. You, I don't know if you love me unless you're giving me money. <laughs> Especially when I really need it. You know what I mean? So I'm sorry. At the end of the night, I won't be able to really sleep at night because I'm tossing and turning. I'm stressing. I cannot focus on our relationship and on our love if I have all these bills to pay. So I would always pick the first one because at the end of the day, you could be cheating. But at least I know that you are a cheater, but you are also taking care of her. You know what I mean? You are a cheater, but you're also taking care of home. You could be broke, and I know you're broke. Not only are you broke, but you're also cheating on me, which is a double whammy for me. It's just, it's too much. It's, it's just too much. I, I don't know how, I couldn't even fake that, honestly. I couldn't fake being in a relationship with someone that I love so much and they love me. As a matter of fact, I have enough love for the both of us, so you don't need to love me that much. You know what I mean? I need you to respect me and to to provide for me and protect because me, I, I understand you love me when you are protecting me and providing for me because if all you can do is say I love you and here we are both like crying in the bus stop, I'm sorry sir, that is not love. So yeah, I would always pick the first guy and that is, that, that's my choice and I'm sticking to it. And if you enjoyed this video. Would you rather have a broke faithful guy or a rich cheater? Rich cheater, easily, yeah. You'd rather be cheated on and he just gives you money? Honestly, yes. All I need in life is clothes. To all the girls out there, I could get you, I just don't want you. I'd rather be happy and poor than rich and sad. Now tell me how that makes sense, because how in the world can you be happy if you can't afford a goddamn crab rangoon? That is the key to happiness! Do you think Shall money will, will help you find the love of your life? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
You think I money can make the love you? of my life? What are you saying, <laughs> bro? <With> happiness. <laughs> swipe left, swipe right. You know how unlimited swipes on Tinder I can get? I just pay for it. That's it. Super dollars. <laughs> Super light? Super light! Right, you, is, you remember I almost used up my super light? Yeah, yeah. I was upset. Yeah. This is clearly lust because <laughs> not love. Like, I had one super I'm like and I used it up. Think about if I had the money to have multiple super likes. So, hey, we know that money will not. Money is not going to help you find the love of your life, all right? Money you can't help mental problems. Money you can't help insecurity, bro. Like, money does not solve all your problems. I don't know, it man. Help, it doesn't even solve half your problems. It solves your money problems. Listen, listen. Johnny, De- Johnny Depp's missing a finger. He's pretty happy. Who? Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp that nigga's happy? Johnny Depp. That nigga's happy? Is we just watched the Amber Heard do you, do you see? He's a rock star now. That nigga <laughs> was getting abused. That nigga was getting beat, spit on, that cursed a hundred million dollars, and he let a bitch shit blah, in his blah, bed. Blah, blah. But. <laughs> no, there's no but, bro. But. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> The fact is, they had enough money <laughs> to solve this <laughs> situation. Oh, Get this nigga the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. Before we continue, so. Because if I was on <laughs> we, we had an in argument. that situation. Do you realize? I, I want you all to. So, oh, hold on. Hold your thought. Go ahead. Because I, I wanted to bring that for a reason. I want you all to understand and realize. In a normal day society, mm-hmm. with our normal income, right? And they were in a war of defamation. If we were in a, we were in a war of defamation, they would look at us and laugh at us. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. And, and the details of the defamation cases, they're literally crackheads fighting. Mm. We usually look at crackheads fighting down the street. <laughs> you feel me? They not going to court. <laughs> it's Sally Sue cut off his finger. You know what I'm saying? That's just crazy. But they have enough money to solve those problems, right? But you see, money solves money problems. It doesn't make you happy. And- How important is money to you in a relationship? <laughs> It's it's important. It's not that big of a deal. So you'll be with a broke person. Not for no God. money. You have to try. And you give them an allowance in the meantime? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I do a whole bunch of stupid shit when I'm in love. Not important at all. I feel like them being in a relationship with me, I could get them to where they need to be. So right. that money's oh. not a problem. Yo, yo, ride or die. I know I'm not one for sure. I will never ride or die, but we have kiss a lot. How important is money to you in a relationship? It's everything. If I don't have any money, then, you know, it's just, what? what's the point? Ooh. Ooh. I mean, it's not the number one thing, but I'm not going to lie. Like, it's kind of important, but you don't have to have a lot of money, but at least have a plan to work toward getting money. Like, don't just be a bum-ass dude sitting at home doing nothing. You're not giving nobody no allowances. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Get your ass a job. Mm-hmm. Invest. <laughs> Would you rather have a, a loyal broke nigga or a cheater with money? A cheater with money. Really? Yeah. Because I don't really give a fuck. Because I'm going to do what I want to do. Look at this fucking generation. No. What the fuck? Nah. Nah, I can't. What the hell? I can't deal with that, bro. I'm talking about cheating with money so you don't care about love and happiness and being secure? They're security. With money? That's fucking crazy. Nah, nah. That's crazy. Shit, you know, to each his own, though. You know what I'm saying? Stop focusing on dating. Focus on money. You are poor. You are poor. You are broken poor. Okay. A broke man mm. that loves you so much. It's a lover. Or a rich man that treats you like shit. Ooh. What you thinking, baby? So are we saying, because this is questions that need to be answered. Broke is in, in that point of his life? Or broke always? Because I can do a moment if everybody goes through something. Yeah, everybody go through shit. I mean, definitely. So that part is like, I'm not... But what I'm saying, when I say that, I mean by... Well, when I was thinking it, when I was writing the question. What I meant when I was writing it was somebody that lacks ambition. Like, somebody that lacks who, like, lacks all of that. They just don't have it in them. Bitch, I'll take the nigga that rich. Yeah. That And it's really, it sounds really fucked up. 
Because now no, you said I lacks ambition. He, that's uh, totally that, different. That's how I was thinking when I was writing the question out. Because everybody goes through something. Yeah. So if we're talking about lack, first of all, I will be with neither one of them. Right. But if if I, I if we have to choose, choose one, between the yeah. two, then it would be the person that um is rich, that treats me like shit because I match energy very well. Yeah. And, and bitch, when you like treat shit. me yeah. like shit, yeah. I'm going to treat you like shit, ho. But as long as we got the money coming in. Right. Thank you. you know, I'm not even that type of person that just right. cares about money so much, but it is what it is. Yeah. So those are the two options. A man that lacks ambition compared to, you know, yeah. that, that loves me greatly. What what the fuck is love? You know for what I'm real, saying? For real, for real. Yeah. And that's what made me. Yeah. Because if you truly respect me, love me, honor me, and, and, and want to do things, you're going to. Want What's to build yourself up yes. and provide as a man. As a man, yes. So if you're lacking that, yes. you're lacking ambition, this ain't for me. Yes. But if you got money, boom, 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 then we both going to treat each other like shit. But we got money involved. Definitely. There you go. Yes. That's my answer. Rich cheater. <laughs> oh, like. A rich cheater. A rich cheater. Rich cheater. Rich cheater. Broke faithful man. A faithful man with no money. So a rich cheater. I'm not going to lie. Broke faithful man. I think men are very insecure when they're broke. I'm insecure when I'm broke. It's like, like all men cheat. So yeah. Like, they, I mean, if he's a faithful <laughs> broke man, like, cool, you cool or whatever, but. I like to do things that cost money. Like, I want you to be able to be like, all right, take this money, go on vacation. Like, if you're cheating, I mean, I could talk to somebody else, you know? It's integrity. I can't. Like, I've been with somebody broke before. Like, it's not yeah. aesthetically pleasing. So. Okay. That's why you broke, because you got all the time in the world. Like, I don't... If I have the resources to help him, I'm going to do that. But you want me to cry in the Rolls Royce? If he was rich and cheating on me, there's no value in that. You're not making that much right now. I'm going to make the money for you. I can't handle that. My chest going to hurt. <laughs> like, nah. Temporary. If, I'm, if I know somebody's like consciously cheating on me, but he buy me whatever he want to buy me. I can't deal with a cheater. I don't care if they're going to be giving me money at the end of the day. Like I'm not going to be with somebody that's broke and not putting on for themselves just because you're not cheating on me. I'd rather you cheat on me. Like, get to your own bag. If I so can do something for you, you can do it for me back, basically. No broke stuff, so. Money does buy happiness. We're going to leave it. To Sugar Bear, because if you jump out of my hand one more time. <laughs> Would you rather be with a high value man who makes a million dollars a year, he gets you whatever you want, but he cheats on you every once in a while, or with a loyal man who only makes 50 grand a year, he's like a 5 or a 6 out of 10 in ratings? A high value man, because regardless they cheat. So you think every high value man cheats? No, I think everyone cheats. What <laughs> makes you think everyone cheats? I seen it. I think it. Yeah, the millionaire, for sure. Because I could probably do the same. I got away with it, too. But you can't cheat. Like, as soon as you cheat, he cuts everything off. Your car, all your bills. I still do the millionaire. I feel like there's a certain cockiness to someone who is wealthy. They'll talk at you versus talk to you. They'll throw money at you instead of giving it to you. So I would rather go with the poor guy who's humble. We build together. Now, if you enjoy these conversations, go ahead and click anywhere in the video for the next video where we will be talking about 50-50 relationships and why this man agrees that men also benefit a lot more when it comes to 50-50 relationships. If he's asking you to pay 50% of the bills, he's benefiting a lot more. Check out the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.